five miles home. And this happened in Bristol. Yeah, where, where I live. where you're, where yeah, you're from. So you'll understand this. A little lost dog walked himself home five miles oh, home across Bristol so while his owner searched for him. Oh, Pip oh, a oh, little rescue dog from Spain wandered off while chasing squirrels on a walk in <laughs> Bristol with owner Libby Bowles. Lovely, isn't in it? In September, oh. while Libby spent 90 minutes searching for Pip in Lee Woods, he took to the streets so and strolled beautiful. all the way home, arriving 20 <laughs> minutes before Miss Bowles did. I mean, how does that even happen? And he even crossed our bridge, our beautiful suspension, suspension bridge. bridge. Yeah, and he was also caught on CCTV during the 4.6 mile walk home. How did it happen? Yes. How do dogs know how to do it? Oh, well, Dr. Dr. Scott. Scott. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Dr. Scott. How, how is this possible? How did the littlest hobo do this? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on Morning View. I'm loving it. Uh, <laughs> with, with the board as well. Nice. Um, just want to say, look, it's all about a dog's uh, incredible olfactory instrument, which is their nose. They've got about a 10,000 times sense of smell compared to ours. And even just going past a location with their owner. And the amazing thing with Pip is he never touched the ground. He actually was in a bicycle um, on a sort of papoose um, with his owner, dry, riding through the streets of Bristol. That so that's the first time on four legs he ever took that journey, and yet he was able to find his way back with the use of a sort of scent map almost. But also we think that dogs can use the Earth's electromagnetic uh, radiation basically to sort of map out where they are on the planet and then they can find their way home. But it's an incredible story. This is a, a Badenko, uh, a hunting dog from Spain. This was also a dog that was on the street. So he would have had some street smarts, but incredible. Thank you to all of the uh, car drivers of Bristol to uh, be very kind as he was finding his way back home. Hey, Scott, would you bank on Scully getting home uh, 4.6 miles? I think Scully couldn't get her way out of her own bedroom. So. <laughs> <laughs> Scully! Oh, I think it's incredible, though, isn't it? It's a great story. Brilliant. And apparently, all the locals were, like, posting pictures when they saw it go past. Yeah, and that's it was trotted past home. my house. Now, what Giles, this, I imagine this has happened to you once or twice right. in your life. Uh, this, cha this poor chap was charged a little bit more money for a cab ride than he thought because he was a bit drunk and, you know, got oh. in it after a lovely night out. However, this poor chap was charged £35,000 <laughs> for a 15-minute Uber oh. journey after the driver mixed up Manchester and Australia. So <laughs> Oliver Kaplan was quoted <laughs> £10 for the four-mile trip from Hyde to uh, Ashton under Lyme, but next morning he found Eva had tried to take £35,427.97 pence from his you, bank account. Can you imagine if he actually had that money? His it driver was thought to confuse Tameside with the same name 10,000 miles away. <laughs> The <laughs> Adelaide in South Australia. <laughs> yeah, but he starts laughing at the story before he can get it out. He always Sorry. Laugh. <laughs> it is oh. easily. Oh it is remarkably easily done. Is it? it? Another name drop for you. I was being given drinks by nice. beautiful Joanna Lumley. Oh, wonderful. Dame. 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 Dame Joanna Lumley. What a clown. I love yeah, that. Exactly. Oh, if you've got that drop, to drop, that you name. drop it, OK? <laughs> and we were at a hotel in the West End of London. The bill came. She very generously was paying. I'll take this, She Giles. wanted to give <laughs> a £10 tip. So the, thing, the machine came on which yeah. to do it. So she pressed the 10, and then it was two more pence, you know, to one 10, full stop, not, not. What she, in fact, did was give them a 1,000 pounds. Oh, oh, brother. That was kind. And then we had the, the... She saw the receipt came. Then we had the dilemma. I said, well, you're Joanna Lumley. She said, I know I'm Joanna Lumley. I said, you really are, though. You, you, you can't <laughs> don't think you've given them a 1,000 pounds tip. <laughs> And no. So what happened? So she's such a sweet, good-hearted person. We left. No. no. She gave a thousand pounds. The hotel then telephoned me because they didn't have her number. They telephoned me and said Miss Lumley obviously made a mistake, and um, we would like to. Oh. So she then gave oh, the money that's to charity. Really nice. Wow. That's really yeah. nice. She's but amazing. But it shows how easy these things and are. And can I tell you another story? So I got my car service. We're going to clang. Certain, can we clang in? I can't say the certain who it was, but my son's working there now. <laughs> and oh, I, I paid for the service and didn't notice until they phoned me that they charged me £10,000 for the service. Oh, wow. I hadn't checked my... my £10,000? They charged what me £10,000. They noticed a month later and phoned me up and said, we've overcharged, it was £1,000, and we've charged you £10,000, oh. and I didn't even notice. You didn't yeah, even Yeah, but notice. that's nice that they phoned me back. It is. You see, there are lots yeah. of good people in the world. Lots of good people in the world. Mm. Yeah. So Were you with so. Joanna Lumley at the time? Oh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. She said, just pay it. Love, pay it. They'll call you yes. back. Trust she said, me. just pay it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. I'll see you later. Yeah. Thank oh, yes. yeah, of course. Love is in yes. the air.
at about 11 oh, yeah, phone in yeah. with Charles. Sure, Carol. romance. Can't wait yeah. for that. Competition time now. Do you fancy heading into autumn with an extra £75,000 in your bank account? Here's Josie with your chance to win. Winning the prize has absolutely changed my life. Once the money hit the bank, it was like, oh, my God. 